Today's gospel reminded me of how easy it is for us to get worked up, to get really worried to the point that we start to lose perspective and sometimes even hope in what we're trying to do in our lives. So I'd like you to think about this, to consider what are some of the worries that you have running through your mind? Maybe even now. They could relate to how you're going to pay to fix your car, an upcoming school test, maybe for a grandchild or a child, or maybe how, like most of us, how are you going to get everything done that you have on your list today? And lastly, how do you keep your sanity while you're trying to work all this out? Well, every one of us, if we're honest, has concerns, and just like Martha, we can find ourselves reaching the point of exasperation, and maybe even at times finding ourselves critiquing others and what they are doing or not doing. But on the positive side of things, I'd like you to think about this too. Can you remember a time when someone came along and they gave you hope when you're having one of those days? Well, for me, just last Thursday, I personally was at that Martha point. I had been attempting to get a handwritten medical record connected to Father Peyton's cause for sainthood transcribed. Seemed like a simple thing to ask. But as I realized, and I reached out to every one of my previous contacts who could help me, that they had either retired or moved on without any further contact information. I also learned that the hospital that did this work, they no, no longer did it but I did have a glimmer of hope. They told me there was a company in India who did this work and Father Pinto and Jilson reassured me they do good work. So that made me feel good. My hopes surged, but then were dashed when they wrote back saying, Father David, the handwriting is so illegible, we can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can imagine, I didn't know where to turn at this point. When out of the blue, a doctor who knew what I was trying to accomplish reached out to me, and he offered to help. And I think he could hear in my voice my concern, and he said, don't worry, Father, we'll find a way. You can't imagine how good that felt to hear. In that encounter, I was reminded that Jesus is trying to teach Martha and each one of us that we are not alone. In all of our worries or concerns, as long as we remain with God, and the reason that we can have hope when things do seem hopeless is because of our Father's and Jesus' unconditional love. It's the same love that Jesus shows to St. Peter when out of fear, Peter denies him three times. What also struck me was how God's providence, his care for us, is at work through people like each of you and like that doctor for me last week. How God brings people into our lives when we most need them to help us find solutions and also the hope that we need in the meantime between the problem and the solution. In today's gospel, I'm struck by the fact that Jesus isn't scolding Martha. Instead, he's trying to teach her and us about the importance of our staying connected to God. No matter what our roles in life are, whether we are the Marys who are out in front or the Marthas who work behind the scenes. Each of us is meant to find the love and peace that we desire through knowing and serving God, staying connected when we seek answers. So when you're talking with your family today, maybe you could ask them, what's on your mind? What's worrying you? And can I help? Or perhaps you know someone who could help them. In either case, it's through this reaching out, this listening and thinking, and most importantly, praying to God for the guidance and the strength that can make a difference so that when we say, don't worry, we'll find a way, you can have the confidence that God is at the foundation of that promise. May God bless you all, and may we help each other find peace in our day, and certainly 
peace in our families.